Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we've got to feed some of the animals. We've also got to do a big clean on the red-eyed tree frogs tank. So we've got to have a water drain, some substrate change and stuff like that, freshen it all up, make sure it's nice and clean. Uh, and then we jump on and do some other jobs as well. So I think I've got to, we've got to feed the Pac-Man frogs today, so we feed them as well. Uh, so we crack on, get all the jobs done and I'll see you in a bit. Oh, please like, subscribe, comment and share and ring the bell. Ring the bell please. It's today's main job, today's main job. We've got to clean this tank nice and clean. We want to drain all the water out, try and get all the muck out the bottom, um, clean all the, get a layer of dirt off, put some fresh moss in and all stuff like that. So we're going to do that today. We're going to check on all the frogs, make sure they're all okay. Maybe give them a little bath, check they're all right and we can go from there. Everything I need to do the siphoning. We've got the bucket. Whoop. And we've got the pipe. So all I've got to do now, stick one end in the water, give one end a little bit of a suck, get the water to go into it, drop the one end into the bucket, and we're going. So we're going to jump on that now, try and get ourselves some bit of progress, and then I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec. Yes! Shot! Wop how? That's so what we've got now. So what we've done, we've took 90% of the water out, but of course more is going to be seeping back from the, from the dirt. So this is going to slowly fill up over time. I might have to do another little siphon. And then uh, we're going to get most of this soil out. Um, change all the, the moss at the back of there. And all stuff like give that. Give it all a wash with RO. Make sure everything's all right. And then uh, main job is to get all this muck out from where they've been pooing in the water. What I'm doing, I'm just getting some kitchen, kitchen towel. Going around, getting a good scoop. And we froze it in the bin. With a bucket. Wah. So I'll do a couple more grabs with the tissue and then that'll be it. We go, we've got a nice clean bottom and you know we always like a nice clean bottom. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get this old moss out, a good probably I'd say half inch of the soil all the way around, get all that out and then put some fresh cocoa fibre in, fresh moss and then uh, we've got to check on all the frogs, maybe give them a bath in our row, just give them a them a clean and make sure everything's okay. Now we've got to take the, the substrate out. So I've got my substrate removing device, very high tech bit of kit. So we're going to do, we're going to get in there, get some out and see how we get on. So we're going to scrape the moss back. It's going to be absolutely covered in springtails because the springtails love it. So what we might have to do is give it a shake out, try and get some of the uh, spring tails out but uh, I have got a nice big supply of spring tails so I think we should be okay so we've got to watch it because I don't want to mess with the roots you see so we've got the roots from the plant being exposed now so we don't want to go too deep because we don't want to bother the plant but we want a nice solid layer off from the substrate so we can freshen it right up do, 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 do. Getting rid of the poop. Do, 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 do. Getting rid of all the poop. Do, do, do. There we go. It's not poop. It's just substrate that's started to do, started to turn to dirt. Because that's what happens with all the cocoa fibre and stuff like that. It slowly breaks down and turns into soil. We'll try and get this top bit of moss off. There we go. More scrapers. And we should have most of the moss off. But ah, lovely, 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 lovely. Woo, let's get that out now. And then we can put the fresh cocoa fibre in. But I'm thinking I might do an RO wash first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray everything with RO, make it soak all the way through, then 
take out the water here and that should have washed everything and got all the nasties off if there is any. We are row flush now, so I've got dechlorinated water or deionized water and um, we're just going to spray it all the way around, give everything a good wash off and make sure any nasties are being washed away and then we can see how it's got that little seep in that's what we want, we want a nice bit of seep into the water's going through getting all the nasties and we can so soak up this water here There's the RO wash done. So we've got a nice reasonable amount of water now. Not enough to siphon, but I'll just get some kitchen towel and soak all that up. Well, I haven't seen all the frogs yet, so we're going to try and find them before we do anything else. So we've got one there who's just woken up. And I'm thinking, I've looked all in this bush and I can't see anything. So I'm thinking they've got to be under there in some sort of fat. Oh, I've just seen one wiggle. He's one under there, look. He is, he's making the plant wiggle. That's how I spotted him then. So I'm guessing the other one's going to be underneath one of these leaves as well. Can we see anybody? Oh, oh, hello. There's Mr. Number Three. I don't know. So all the frogs are hiding. All the frogs are hiding. So something now, where's the frogs? I can only see one, but they're upside down under the leaves, which they get really, really good at doing. So what we need now is our substrate distributor so it looks similar to the extractor <laughs> so we're going to do we're going to scoop it up spread it all about nice and evenly and then put a nice little blob up there and then i've got some nice moss for us to go in next oh the frog is actually out and about hello mate first time we've seen you out and about and you're right behind the leaf They've got lovely blue inside of the legs, orange toes, and bright red eyes. Can we see, can we see your eye? Woo! Little tiny froggy. So they've also got white stripes running down their side as well. So we've got the blue running down their legs. On the inside, you've got the little white stripes as well. Name the spoon, Sir Scoops a lot. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to be scooping up bits of the cocoa fibre now and then carefully not making a mess and then just nicely distributing it around this nice layer here. There we go. We're all cocoa fibred up, all cocoa fibred up, ready to go. A lovely piece of moss. Freshly ready to go. So what we've got to do, I think it's almost a perfect shape. So I've literally just got to pick it up, plonk it in, and uh, we'll be away. If we get the back end in first. Oh, look at that. That looks very nice. Look at that. Wow, I like that. So I've got another little piece we can put up there. And uh, But I am really liking this moss. Ooh -wee. So I've noticed some of the frogs don't... He looks okay. He looks a bit dark, he does. So I'm thinking about giving him a wash in the R row because that's meant to give him a good wash and clean any bugs off them that they're on them. So uh, we might catch him up and do an R row bath for him. But it depends on how easy it is he's going to be to catch them. So I'll do that little bit of moss there next. And then, uh, oh, I do like that moss. You can get a better light on it. Boom, now that is moss. This is moss pile number two. Moss pile number two just goes in here like this. Just slide it in. Just slide it in. There we go. Look at that. Proper job. Absolutely lovely. I might see if I can get some down that little wall there, I think. Let's see if we can get this to work. Oh, lovely. Proper job. So we've got moss creeping up and down now. So all we need to do is add some fresh water and then catch the frogs up, give them a bath in our row, 
because I think, yeah, he's got some of the little white spots. Yeah, he definitely needs a wash in the RO. Um, that can be um, something irritating him in the tank or we're a little bit late on doing the, the, the full clean and uh, it's just got a tiny bit too dirty for him. So that's why we, it's, we, sh we need to up we need to increase the amount of times we do this because normally we only have two frogs in here and we've got three in this time so it's getting dirtier a lot quicker than it normally does so we're gonna have to increase the cleaning schedule because we've got an extra frog and it seems to be getting that little bit more dirtier everyone all the other frogs seem he hasn't got any any white spots on him and we'll check the other one in a second but he's just got a couple of white spots so RO Baffid is so I've got my tub with our row water in. The only thing I haven't got is the frogs. So we need to figure out how to get the frogs from there into here without losing the frogs. So I've got a frog catching device, which we're gonna use. And then um, we can catch the frogs, put them in here, and then uh, should be hunky-dory. Got my frog extractor. <laughs> so we're gonna catch them like that, slide this little beast between them, and then they're gonna be in here. And then we can transfer them to the other tub with the RO in. So hopefully that's the one we need to get. So we got it over him. So all we need to do now is get him to jump in. There we go. Frog in the cup. Lovely job. So now we transfer him into this little tub with the RO water in. And then he can have a little bath and then we can catch the rest of them up. Come on buddy, you got to climb out. Oh, what's he? One froggy sat in the RO, oh, we can't see him that way. We could just about see him sat down, nice, just perfect amount for him to sit and chill and be nice and happy. So we're gonna catch the other two now, give them a bath as well. It's only, oh, I'd say five minutes in here will be perfect. And the rest of them are gonna be as easy. Come on, little buddy, wake up for me. Come on, mate, that's it, wake up. Come on. Come on. Come on, little dude. That's it. And then we put him into this one. Oh, number two frog, he's looking at the hole. He was looking at the hole in. So we'll get them both, we'll get them down in the water afterwards, but we let them have a climb round for a bit while I'm sorting the meat. The last one has slept through the whole thing. Come on. He has slept through the whole thing, he has. Oh, I don't know. So we're going to catch him up and then uh, put him in the tub. That one was a two-handed job, that was. So we've got a nice little froggy. So we're going to put him in this one with the other, with other two. A couple of minutes and then we'll be like, oh, no, no, stay in the tub, stay in the tub, stay in the tub, stay in the tub, please. Oh, you've got little white spots as well. Yes, we, we need, definitely needs a wash in the RO. You've got to stay in the tub, stay in the tub. He's in, but they want us to be in the corner. So all we're going to do is we just slightly tilt it. Let the water cover over them and then we tilt back. So having a nice little wash, we do the same with this side. The camera will focus for me or not, just now. So a little tilt, there we go, a little soak in the water. And then back down. That's all we're going to do a couple of times because they're not in the water so we're just going to rub them, get the water to go over them couple of times over the next three or four minutes and then uh, we're releasing them back into the tank then it's literally just because they're obviously they're not sat in the water and we need them to get wet so we just pour it like that make them get a little bit wetter same with this corner just lift it up a little bit there we go the frogs are in the water and now they're not so that's what we're going to do and then they'll be released in, back in in a sec they're having their bath what we're going to do is fill up their water with dechlorinated tap water so um, we want the minerals and stuff from the tap water but we don't want the, the chlorine and all that stuff because it burns the frog so uh, we've got some reptile dechlorinator so we're going to put some of that in the window so just amphibian dechlorinator not the reptile one it's exactly the same thing but Yes, may, may as well sure get the best, the, right, the exact right one, just in case there's something different in it. Um, so we've got the, the amphibian rep, uh, dechlorinator. So we use that, get some nice fresh water in there. There we go, 
got the bucket freshly filled up with the dechlorinated water so we can fill it up and crack on. It does look very luscious at the moment, I have to admit, very nice. So we're going to pour all this in here like this. And we want about, I'd say, inch to half inch, something like that. I reckon that's plenty I do. So what I might do, I might go around, get some nice little rocks, put them in the rocks at the bottom, and then uh, I think we're almost done. And all the water out now, all we need to do, look how blue he is. All we need to do is get the frogs from here into there. So I'm hoping I can just lift this edge up and they'll jump in and then we can do the opposite corner for this one. So we're going to try our very best and then uh, see how we get on. Um, we're going to hold that there and then we're going to open these corners like so. And we can put the tank in and then we just let the frogs jump out. Come on buddy, your mate's done it. Come on. Be free! Do you mean, have I got a poker on the bum? Have I really got a poker on the bum? Come on! Jump, frog! Jump! Pokey, pokey, pokey! There we go. Got this one left now. So we do the exact same thing. We'll open up the uh, opposite corner. And then uh, hopefully, he will just jump out. Hold on, mate. I'm taking the lid off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go, there you go. Whoops, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, there we go. He's in the tree. So we've got one there. Where did everybody else go? Oh, we've got one right at the back. And then... The other one's vanished. They're so good at camouflage. The other one's in here somewhere, I promise. It did jump in here. So, uh, just bend this leaf back out straight. There we go. But yeah, I think we're ready to go now. I'll get a couple of pebbles, put them down the bottom, and then we are done. We can do as well, we can give them a feed. So we give them a feed as well, and then uh, we'll be raring to go. About an hour now since we messed with the tank. So they've all settled down and chilled out. So I'm going to put some food in there, but they're not going to eat it now because they've all gone back to sleep. They don't usually wake up till about 8 o'clock, and of course, I've woke them up today, so they probably won't be awake till 10, 10 o'clock tonight. So we're going to put some food in for them. We'll go around, we'll do some other little feeds for you, and then uh, that's probably going to be it for today. Cool. So we've got our box of crickets. Come on, open the lid. Come on, open the lid. There we go. And then we just convince them to leave the box. Come on. Come on. We got three. Out of the whole tub, we got three. Look at them all. Come on. Everybody out. Oh, I've ruined it. I have to try and get that off. I'm going to try a different way box with just crickets in now so uh, we can just put them in there and have to worry about the stuff falling out managed to get most of it off there's still a little bit of calcium on there though so uh, we'll open this tub we'll get them all out and then the fogs are fed there we go so we leave them to it now hopefully they have a munch we'll check them on again in the morning I'll give them a little spray with RO before we go whoop smashing the place Oh, need to pump it up, need to pump it up. Gotta pump it up. Ooh. There we go, nice little spray of our, uh, give it the moss a good nice little spray. Lovely job. Sorry mate, a lady wanted to know if we had any 100 watt bulbs, and we do, we do. We've got loads of 100 watt bulbs. Whoa, look what I got. Come on then, come get him. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you are crazy. You just comes out mouth for blazing. Don't you, mate? He loves you, bugs. What are you doing? Hey?
Do you want another one? No, you're in the box. It's in the box. No, you can't have the box. Look. Yeah, I'm look. Look at that. Ah, ah. Oh, that's not nice. You made it poop. Ah, oh, you made it poop. We're going to have to clean that up in a sec. You can get one more locust, then we've got to clean up that mess you made. Here you go. Last one. Ah, ah. Last one, I've got to get the tissue and clean up your mess. Because you made a mess. You did? You made a meg mess. Meg mess. Absolute stunning markings on him. It's the striped leopard gecko. This is morph. And a bit, little bit like the snakes. Once they've eat, they do some wiggles to help it go down into their stomach. You see he's got a nice big belly. Nice big belly. We've got slightly different belly scales as well. So of course the, the belly touches the floor a lot more than the rest of the scales do. So they're a lot more smoother and a lot more tighter together. But you're lovely, aren't you, mate? Would you like to go back? Would you like to go back? So I've got to clean up your mess. Yeah? Come on now. Up you go. Good lad. I love how he keeps his tail off the floor. It's like his tail's got to be hovering. Can't touch his tail on the floor. So Mego's not here today, so I'm going to try and get him to do the taming for her. So we're going to just hold it like that. And then I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to put my hand there because Mego's doing all that. All I'm going to do is see if she wants to come and get a bug. Whoa, she does. Woo! She's made a mess. I don't know how she didn't have makeup. Look at all that, she's just kicked out. Oh, I don't know. So there's one. We'll give probably one or another one or two. But I'm going to let Meg do all the climbing on the hand timing. I'll just feed Niffa today for her. Okay, then, everybody. So that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share for me. And ring the bell. Ring the bell. Go make sure you ring the bell. Um, and then if you want to watch another video, should be a little one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, she lives up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it lives up there. And I don't know what this line is, but I can't get rid of it. So I've got a double moustache. <laughs> I'll see you in the future. Bye.